Hello and welcome. The map we are checking out today is Return to Planet Urza Mission 1. The Federation deeming the time ripe for reclamation. The stage is set for the second war for Planet Urza. Planet Urza, its once thriving civilization reduced to a barren wasteland by the relentless onslaught of arachnid bugs. John Fortesque, a former stalwart officer who had bravely led the charge against the bug menace, now stood as a weather testament to the toll of war. Many years had passed since the heart-wrenching order in to abandon Urza had been decreed. The echoes of battles fought and lives lost continued to haunt the survivors like specters in the night. The Federation deeming the time ripe for reclamation, John Fortesque found himself called to action once more. This time to serve as an advisor to the new war about to begin. The Federation fleet with new technologies were sent to Urza, the ship sleek and agile designed for war. The mobile infantry with their new power armor prepared themselves for the task ahead. Among them stood Jack, who was poised to prove himself worthy of his father's reputation for tactics and battle prowess. Their mission was simple, retake the lost planet Urza. Command, we've arrived at the designated coordinates. What's our objective here? Your assignment entails locating and reactivating the military compound situated within this sector. It appears to be a crucial asset imperative for our forthcoming campaign against the bugs. Roger that, sir. Do we have any specific intelligence regarding potential encounters en route? Intel suggests the area may still be infested. Stay sharp and keep your team alert. Roger that, sir. We'll proceed with caution. Ted Hunt. I definitely recognize those voices. Those are definitely 11 Labs ones. Jack specifically. I can't remember what the voice is called, but maybe it's like Adam or something. It's like one of the one of the ones that's been around since the beginning. Jack is like clearly a. We must exercise caution not to disturb any bug hives or tunnels we encounter. If feasible, we should avoid engaging them until we have acquired more firepower. Doing so prematurely might lead to unnecessary complications for our mission. He's clearly a slider change on, on that voice, because... 11 Labs, they have this feature where they, like... Where you can, quote-unquote, randomly generate voices, which all it does is it takes, like, the... The established voices they have, and just kind of, like, remixes them a bit. And every now and then they do a good one of those, and they'll make it one of the, uh... The pre-made options. The lack like it's a whole new voice when really it's just like a a remix version of one that's existing. But that he's clearly that guy. Whatever that guy was. I forget exactly what the name of that that voice was, but I can hear I can hear like the vocal speech pattern of that voice in Jack. And the other guy that was talking, I recognize, but I don't have all the names. There's so many of those voices now. I don't have them all memorized. Oh. Assign drop zone, but we can't do that yet. We're supposed to be going this way, so... Let's see if I can go over here instead of like this direction. Where's the fight? Try to keep up. I leave, you follow. On the road to victory, I leave, you follow. Leading by example. Officer on deck. Let's get some bugs. 
I lead, you follow. On the road to victory. Leading by example. I lead, you follow. Leading okay. by example. I lead, you follow. Kill order confirmed. Just gotta be careful. Gotta make sure there's nothing like right here. Leading by example. On the road to victory. Try to keep up. I lead, you follow. Leading by example. Oh, they're getting chomped. Oh, one of them died. Hopefully, we can call down reinforcements now. Comms base is operational, sir. Ready to go. The area is secure. I'm remotely accessing the system here, decrypting classified information. According to this data, the facility was responsible for testing a new turret system called the Giga Cannon. Unfortunately, it was never operationalized. The base fell to the arachnids before it could be deployed. The Giga Cannon? What's that all about? I'm not entirely sure, son. But it seems Command chose this sector for a reason. That's creative. According to the intel, the Giga Cannon requires power from two separate cores. I suggest prioritizing getting the base power back online. Once we have the base operational, we can send you the necessary supplies and reinforcements to your location. This will probably require a new power cell to restart. I wonder if there are any unused ones still lying around here. Let's get some bugs. Okay, still no. Still no use of the, uh, this. We can't, we can't actually use the drop zone yet. I definitely risked their safety trying to like capture this base because I was presuming. I was presuming that meant that we would get to use this. So I hope we are still able to do this part without. Without being at full strength. It is just warriors, so should be no problem. Power cell required. Try to keep up. On the road to victory, leading by example. They didn't throw the grenade. On the road to victory, try to keep up. On the road to victory, try to keep up. I lead, you follow. On the road to victory. I lead, you follow. We are clearing quite a bit of the map already, One though. Power cell. Hopefully, it still has the juice we need, considering it's been left here for who knows how long. On the road to victory. Makes me wonder if this is going to be a a short mission by by Pudge's standards. Just because we have already uncovered pretty much a third of the map. All systems are reporting full power and are operational. I'm confident our activity has attracted the attention of the bugs. It's only a matter of time before the horde descends upon our location. Proceed with your mission objective. I'm marking the locations of the cores on your map. Sir, additional supplies are now available. On the road to victory. Try to keep up. Officer on deck.
Okay, we have no war support. Are detecting numerous seismic disturbances. I recommend clearing out all bug hives in the sector. This action will help fortify our bases against potential attacks. Sensors are picking, sensors are picking up new bug hive activity. Well, what, what is this? We've got a unit under attack. Oh, they dropped that. I thought somehow I called down a, a group of green troopers. I was like, how does that work? How did I pull that off? We've got a unit under attack. A unit has been promoted, sir. Roger that. Affirmative. Well, let's go do this one over here. Yes, sir. Officer on deck. It seems to be the one. Affirmative. Yes, sir. In the most convenient space for us to get rid of first. You know, I wonder. So we have seven of these. Are these costing us war support is what I'm wondering. We have zero out of eight. So like theoretically, I could just do this. Shit, no, I couldn't do that. Wow, what in the world? That's the first I've ever seen that. He, he found a way to get rid of the exploit of getting getting free uh, war support from deleting those turrets. Affirmative. We've got a unit under attack. Well, I'm sure that turret was not mission critical anyways. It probably would have helped when any waves come this way of bugs, but oh well. Gone now. They're going to go in because I want this group to keep getting XP. So stand in front of them so they can't shoot. Activate the power cores. With me. Move out. Affirmative. Infantry standing by. Roger that. Yes, sir. Roger that. Yeah, just stop here. We'll wait for the rest of them to catch up. No, we won't. How much faster can they possibly even fire? I've never really noticed much of a difference when using that ability on rifle weaponry, but... Maybe there is. That should protect our flanks decently. But yeah, so far, there hasn't been tigers or anything, so... And this is meant to be the introductory, even though it's this, even though it's a sequel campaign, it is meant to be an introductory mission to a campaign. 
So it's probably going to be quite a bit easier than a lot of the stuff Pudge puts out. Unless they start... Like, so far, nothing has been added to the ways, but that doesn't mean nothing will, right? I Maybe as soon as I get in this cave, in this hive, it's going to add spitters or tigers or something. The other possibility is that it's the power, the power cores With that yes, sir. increase the difficulty. With me. Roger that. Move out. Yes, sir. In which case I could just ignore them. Move out. On the move. Affirmative. What's curious is that nothing seems On to give move. war support. It says that we're supposed to be getting more support from clearing these hives, so... Maybe it's a bug that I'm not getting more support. On the move. With me. Somehow tied to why I didn't get war support with the, uh... On the move. Getting rid of that turret. With me. Roger that. Affirmative. Move out. Yes, sir. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's not because I got rid of that turret. Roger that. Some untested, unforeseen bug. If you if you just manually delete a turret for some reason, it breaks the war support being given to you when you clear out hives. That seems very unlikely. ignore whatever's walking at me from that way but yeah that the the cannon design the like super weapon thing that definitely was a creative way of doing that of using using terrain pieces to make a, a makeshift a makeshift cannon out of out of them Reminds me of the old days of uh, Look sharp, of uh, of Warhammer 40k when people would do that. They probably still do it, where you just cobble stuff together to make stuff that uh, that Games Workshop never made a model for. Oh, the rule says I can have this giant cannon, but Games Workshop never actually made a model for it. I'm gonna buy all this different stuff and I'm gonna mash it together to make one myself. Yes, sir. Roger that. Or maybe, maybe the war support doesn't kick in until we get those power cores. A unit has been promoted, sir. With me. But also. Sir. Maybe those power cores are what trigger the next sequence, like... Maybe the power cores will trigger a base defense sequence or something that... ...will be considerably nerfed if all of the... Uh, ...all of the hives are gone. Roger that. Move out. But the... ...the war support not increasing... ...the war support not increasing does make me wonder... The war support not increasing does make me wonder if, like, 
the bugs are supposed to be changing and there are supposed to be like tigers and other things being added but something is not triggering right now but i don't know that's just that's just conjecture Ah, uh, get out of there! Where are they going? Are we, like, aggroing this hive over there? That where they're streaming from? Pro possibly. This reminds me of the old days, though, when I was when I was still very much green to this game, and I just used nothing but but rifle troopers. Roger that. Affirmative. Roger that. Those were <laughs> those were some of the uh, the funniest comments back in the day when I I only I did I did a bunch of missions only using power troopers, and people were like. I certainly didn't expect someone to beat this this easily, especially with only rifle troopers. Like I learned, I learned how to use the shotgun abilities really well because it was all I used. Probably no need for shotguns here. Roger that. Yeah, like if we watch closely here. Yeah, they are firing a bit faster. Well, Move out. let us proceed. We're gonna we're gonna clear this. We're gonna beat this mission seemingly before ever getting any war support, any delivery platforms. You know, I'll do this mission again if it turns out there is some kind of bug going on here. I will do it again the proper way. Like if these hives are supposed to be increasing in their in their strength and and all that, then I will do it again. Look sharp, troopers. Yes, sir. Sir. Move out. Awaiting order. Only two left for the hive. Affirmative. 
Roger that. Move out. We've got a unit under attack. Really? Oh, they're coming from the the last remaining hives over there. Roger that. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Yeah, there was no mention of a, a secret in this one as well. I wonder... I wonder if because uh, Pudge did that... That Psycon mod mission. If that's why the like actual Finding Pudge character is not like around in the missions now. Or at least... He, they might be and he's just not mentioning it. But if they're indeed not in there anymore, I wonder if that's why. Because he's off... He's off on that adventure with his two uh, psychic arachnid friends. There we go. Are they coming from? Oh, they're coming from the the cannon. Affirmative. Roger that. Yes, sir. Move out. Roger that. Yeah, if it indeed is the, uh, the, uh, what is it, the power cores that are what triggers this to be more difficult, then maybe I'll redo it in that case as well. And go do those first before anything else. I'm tempted just to do, to delete all the cannons now to see what happens. They're not cannons, those extra guns. Oh, there's still bugs coming from somewhere. Sir. Move out. Fine, we'll keep the we'll keep the guns for now.
Where's the last one? Or is it... No, I don't have two war supports spent anywhere else. I don't know. Oh, no, wait. That is from our power suits. Okay, moving up. Yeah, throwing the grenade unfortunately stops them from attacking. And gives them a moment to get chomped by anything that's right in front of them. That's why I avoid using it when it's only like one group. Alone, I tend to avoid using the grenade. Unless there's a good reason to use it, because most of the time it's just going to get them chomped. I see. One was not marked on the map. On the move. Roger that. Maybe I'll get my war support as soon as they're all gone. Yes, Maybe sir. that's the idea. With me. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Though that seems unlikely, yes, considering sir. that we have seven unused delivery platforms. Roger that. Move out. Roger that. Move out. Which, whatever the final wave is, hopefully it is not so tough that we are supposed to have, like, marauders and that kind of thing. Roger that. Roger that. Affirmative. Clearly the other hive is Roger over that. here somewhere. Move out. Roger that. Move out. Affirmative. Roger that. On the move. Move out. With me. On the move. Affirmative. Not here though. That's just a wave spawner. Move. Well, I could check some other places, like in this corner or over here, but maybe... Yes, sir. Affirmative. Maybe whatever the last type is does not activate yet. Oh, no, there it is. Or consistency. We are already dedicated to to not that. completing any objectives until we yes, get rid of all the hives. Let's go. Affirmative. Let's go. Oh, we could have just went down from here. Affirmative. Roger that. Affirmative. This way. Roger 
Roger that. Roger that. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Move out. Roger that. Give them their boost. You know what? Now we'll throw some grenades. Well, it didn't matter. Everything was dead by the time it went off, anyways. Yes, sir. Sir. Oh, there's a radio post up here. Your support has increased, sir. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Move what about if I grab the radio post before grabbing the power core? Affirmative. Let's get some bugs. Comms base is operational, sir. We did get four war support from clearing that last one, so it was clear them all out, then get war support. Construction complete. Oh, and we have all the options right off the bat. That is neat. In that case, I want rocket guys. Complete. Still looking for the Moving out. Move out. Watch your spacing. You know what I should have done there? No, I should not have gotten the power suits. Or, I should not have gotten the rocket guys there. I should have gotten rid of these and replaced them with power suits. Like, use the two war support to get more power suits. Troopers, standing by. Command, the power core has been completely destroyed. I can only assume the other is in the same state. We will need heavy machinery and materials to rebuild it. Records indicate the building materials were delivered to the North Outpost. They should still be there, provided they're not too rusty to use. Additionally, there should be an engineering biped facility at the Outpost. You can make use of those resources as well. Sir! On the move! Yes, sir! Engineering biped facility. Affirmative. I see, so... Whatever the switch for, whatever the, uh, I don't know exactly what the biped yes, replaces, but Affirmative. because you can't have all the mercenary Roger units that. and the yes, sir. regular units activated at the same time. With me. Move so out. in this particular mission, whatever the biped replaces has been Move replaced out. by it. Yes, sir. Looking for the ace. Move out. Watch Buildings. Let's get lock and load. Space is operational, Watch your sir. Moving out. You've been allocated one engineering biped. This unit is crucial for the reconstruction of the power cores. Hence, is its safety is of utmost importance. Losing the biped before both power cores are rebuilt will result in mission failure. Ensure that your defenses or units are prepared before escorting the biped to the power cores. It's time to initiate the expansion of your base using the additional resources you've acquired. Are you inclined to be a hero of the Federation and deploy all buildings? Or do you prefer a smoother path and only have a few buildings? Or do you go easy mode and deploy none? Your decision will determine the types of bugs are spawned on the map. Constructing a support center will lead to an additional plus 10 arachnid supply for the bugs. Establishing an ammo dump will result in appearance of tigers. Building a rocket depot will bring forth scorpions. Erecting a power plant will cause spitters to emerge. Setting up a command center will trigger the appearance of immolators. Installing a fleet replay uh, relay will summon hoppers. Creating a sector headquarters will unleash tankers. 
Choose wisely as your strategy will greatly influence the challenges the challenges ahead. For a refresher on which structures attract specific types of bugs, just access the terminal next to the radio station. Look alive. Roger that. Okay, but I already cleared out all the hives, so I think maybe I bypassed this mechanic, except for if there is a final wave we have to deal with. Affirmative. On the move. Affirmative. With me. Yes, sir. Where's my bipad? Gears. I know the drill. Oiled up and good to Look go. Alive, With me. I mean. Okay, there's still bugs spawning. Dropships engaged elsewhere. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all the power suits we can possibly muster. Let's get some bugs. Move out. Ready to go. I'm doing my part. Dropships engaged elsewhere, sir. And then I'm gonna use the rest. If this indeed is going to influence the wave ahead. Let's get some bugs. On the bounce. Like a base defense portion at the end of this. As well as it probably was certainly gonna defend the core is what it says. Okay, well. Guess we're going back. Oh no, it means here. I want to see the the full wrath of all these bugs. Construction complete. Officer on the road to victory. Let's get moving out. You looking for the I'm doing fine. Ready to go now. Where's the move out? Ready to Watch go. There is no, there is no transport indicator. Power suits need better range. They definitely need experience, so we're gonna continue to leave these ones over here and not this group. Let's get 
Additional supplies are now available. Oh, additional supplies. That's nice. More power suits. Alert. Bug attack inbound. Let's get some fun. Oh great, the the emulator bugged out and went over there. Okay, we lucked out there. That made me wish I had the uh the shotgun guys up there to deter them. Come on, throw that grenade. Get out of there. Four supplies. I'm trying to level up these guys. It certainly would be easier if I put these ones over here as well. We just have like a mastering fire, massive firing line down here as well. Out of the tankers, I wonder if some of them like override each other because we saw the tankers in the the first one, but now now there's no tankers. Now that we have everything activated, it seems to be scorpions and immolators. And also something that makes me think that maybe they're not all going to be present is that there's no hoppers. Unless it's like location dependent, like if we go to the other location. We go to the. Oh no! I'm, I'm, I am wrong. There is a. There's. There's a tanker right now. Yeah, I probably could have waited. Probably didn't need to get rid of the rifle guys, but... At the same point, we probably should get rid of all the... Ri the Or not rocket guys. The shotgun guys. We probably should get rid of them. So I can replace them with things like snipers and... You know what? Yeah, let's do that. I want rocket guys and snipers. I think we have a... Substantial enough firing line over here. a lot of emulators.
Additional supplies are now available. Are you cooking for the squad? Jet. Oh, there we go. That's why the camera pulled away. Yes, sir. Where's the fight? Okay. Yeah, you know what? Officer on deck. Already, I think. If it indeed makes the, like, supplementary hives stronger as well, maybe I will go back through this entire thing and do these two first. Do the power cores first. Okay, what do we want? Snipers? Yeah, more snipers. Ready to fire. Sir. Yes, sir. Sir, get those launchers moving. You miss me? Yes, sir. They can be priority spitters. Sir, on the prowl. Speak up. I know the drill. Okay, I gotta give him his control group again. <coughs> you looking for the A squad? Ready to go. I don't care if it's here. Let's get drill? this thing moving. I know the drill. Yeah, this base would certainly be in a lot more danger if I did not get rid of all those hives immediately. If it was, if these were spawning the dangerous bugs that it was talking about, but. They were also still streaming over to the base. <laughs> Look at the biped just keep in stride with all of them. I wonder if this, like, I wonder if the wave was supposed to come from behind us as well, and just did not, for whatever reason. Ready to go. Move out. Ready to go. Lock and load. You looking for the A squad? Watch your space. You looking for the A squad? Move out. Watch your space. Where's the fight? I'm doing my Ready part. to go. On the bounce. Let's get some bugs. Moving out. You looking for the A squad? Lock and load. Where's the fight? Oh, yep, still only in front of us. Get back out there. Great, more rocket guys.
Ooh, that's spooky. Get out of there. Everybody's eating each other's experience points. Alert. Oh, I could get an additional tactical officer. You know what? Why not? Wait, I didn't get a fleet. Le oh, we don't have a, free a fleet relay. Was that ability not available for us before? And that's why we don't have the hoppers, because it wasn't available to build until now? Well, it's a bit late to go back on it now. I suppose I could, though. I'd have to get rid of two sets of power suits to do that, though. Sir, additional supplies are now available. But sure, we'll do it. Or was I just blind and did not see that option before? I guess that's also possible. Yes. Hoppers, immolators. There, we got the extra super secret weapon, the flare, to stop them from even getting close to us. Sir, 
Additional supplies are now available. Okay, additional supplies. Whatever should I do? We're getting another rocket guy. Run! Run away from the hoppers! A unit is being promoted, sir. Yeah, I'm definitely, especially when we have like this much freedom in what we can pick and all that. I sure am never gonna pick pulse troopers. Anything like that? No way. And chemical troopers are very strong. They are very powerful, but they're not as powerful as a sensor flare. And they don't have the raw power of the rocket guys to just obliterate anything that stands before them. Cores online, initiating the Giga Cannon remotely. Well, that certainly didn't go according to plan. That explosion will undoubtedly attract more bugs to this sector. I advise falling back to the base and setting up defenses. Things are about to get ugly, real quick. I wonder what those health bars are about. Roger that. Oiled up and good to go. Was that like those... Uh, the burning... Uh, what are they called? For the... Like the things that you gotta go... The prospectors for the mercenaries? Is that like actually like four burning pro... Extinguishable fire, never mind. That's the kind of fire you can go with the... The firefighter dudes. Let's get some bugs. You know, that would be a funny mission. A mission where, like, there's an active war going on, but you don't get to control any of the MI. You only get to control the, the water dudes. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Roger that. Though that would probably take a considerable amount of effort if you, like, had to... If you had to uh, do like a full war, a full like battle scene that uh, was balanced enough to where like one side wouldn't just get destroyed over the other. Unless you just put all the balance on the MI side and they were like completely overpowered compared to the bugs. We've detected significant bug activity heading your direction. Defending this base is critical to the war effort. Ensure we hold our ground. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. We'll secure this sector without fail. Let's get some moving out, sir. Affirmative. You looking for the Okay, defend main base. We'll do that. This ain't gonna be a picnic. That's fine. Watch the spacing. You looking for the gears and drills? Ready to get this thing moving. Let's get some bugs. Lock and load. Rocket team up. Yes, sir. You looking for the A squad? Watch the Let's get on the bounce. Where's the mic and love? Ready to go. Snipers. Affirmative. Your orders? Yes. Trying sir. to get everybody into Locked position, in some kind of decent position. We don't know where the bugs are going to be coming from. But stronger together. If we all huddle around the radio station, that is much more effective than standing at the fringes with these guys. Rockets, we're up. Get those launchers moving. Snipers here. Roger that. Where do you need us? I'm on. Snipe. Yes, sir. Let's get Lock some. Lock and load. Sir. Though we will, doing this, we're going to lose their, like, the help of those pretty quickly. Let's get some 
Oh, look at that. Additional ones are getting dropped in anyways. We really don't got to worry then. Squad of rocket guys, go obliterate. I don't, I don't know why I just said that like I was summoning Zodi up, but I did, okay. <laughs> That's a lot of that's a lot of bugs over here. They're all getting held up by the. Uh... Get. have retreated for now, though based on previous encounters, that's not a good sign. Well, that was a, a pretty intense little base defense at the end there. Well, we did it. So that's where I'm calling it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.